I'm scared to speak English. I'm afraid that others will make fun of me when I make mistakes while speaking. We have all heard people speaking like this. Are you fluent in English? What holds you back from improving your English skills? Let's answer these questions. There are several reasons why your English is not improving despite your hard work and passion. However, being fluent in English language is, is always an asset in your personal and professional lives. Speaking fluent English is not easy. Like learning any other language, you need patience and practice to learn English. Continuous usage and learning will help you excel in that process. Today, there are several ways that you can learn the language. From English speaking applications on your mobile phone to English reading and writing clubs. I can say that here we will check out the most common excuses and the obstacles that prevent you from learning English. The first is that you don't spend enough time. I don't have a time, you know, isn't this the most uh, commonly heard excuse? Today you can learn English at home. Not having time is a lie. Because several mobile applications and online classes are there to help you, you know, whether you are a beginner, intermediate, or advanced English learner. You can start from uh, newspapers, books, podcasts, and YouTube videos, which are the, 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 the simplest methods to learn the language. If you look, look you know, hard enough, you will surely find several resources that will help you learn English without payment. Spend at least uh, 20 to 30 minutes a day for English learning. Remember that your, 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 ob your objective here should be effective spending and learning rather than merely spending time. Second, that you don't apply the English to the life situation. Spending you know, time reading or learning English is not enough. Use what you've learned. Apply English to real life situations. You know, like the, the maintaining your dictionary and the, the collecting unfamiliar words is, is one way, is one method, I can say, to improve your vocabulary. But again, don't forget to use them in the real context. Third is that you spend too much time on grammar. Yeah, grammar is undoubtedly, you know, is an important factor in any language. The knowing grammar rules can help you speak better. But when you start speaking English, don't bother too much about grammar rules. Certainly, there are rules uh, about speaking, reading, uh, you know, about the writing and language. But if you are a beginner, start from using words. Words to phrases and sentences, and then think about, you know, the grammar rules. Number four, that you are afraid of making mistakes. You know, are, are you afraid of making mistakes while speaking English? If yes, then uh, learning a language will, uh, will, t will take more time than usual. Don't fear the mistakes that you might make while speaking. You know, unless you speak, you will not learn. Start speaking to your friends, you know, your na non-native sp English speakers. Initially, I mean, to build up your confidence. Use small sentences and talk about things that happens in your everyday life. The best way to boost your confidence is to, to talk to yourself. That's what I'm doing every single day, you know. Number five, you lack a good plan. You know, like um, if you wish to learn English and you must have a good plan, or you, you have to create a learning methods according to the level of English you're learning. And find out the area in which you lack the language skills. Beat speaking, writing, grammar, discover the, the area that you have to improve and plan accordingly. Ask for advice, ask for tips for, uh, you know, to improve your spoken English from tutors, trainers, if, you know, the proper guidance will help you to grasp the language faster. Number six, you are not consistent in studying English. Believe it, that you cannot excel in language if you are not consistent in, in using it. You know, keep up your motivation every single day. Do exercise, you know, speak every day. You know. the motivation comes and goes, we know that. You know. But you should help yourself to be consistent. From practice to using language in your day-to-day -day life, uh, be consistent, okay? M make it a habit and keep practicing. And number seven, sometimes you think that you don't need English. So you might not be working or studying English-speaking country, you know, but that doesn't mean that you don't require good English skills. Today, the English language is widely used in, in non-English-speaking countries, from schools to job prospects, you know, and, and, and the, the entertainment sector. The English language has become significant. So get access to the world-class books, 
music, films, and, and good English. Good communication skills are an asset to your job prospects and, and career growth. Number eight, that you rely on your native language. How do you think that you can improve your English language fluency if you use your native language more? Also, don't try to convert the same pattern and the style of your native, native language uh, to, to, to English. That's not how it works. The more you practice, the more you will learn, and the faster you will acquire English fluency skills. So let's sum up. Like, so the first was that start with creating a timetable and plan to learn English. Second is put aside your fears and excuses. Number three, start working today at your own pace. Number four, ensure you use and interact in English every day. Number five, make a habit of learning new words and phrases. And after all, everybody can learn a language. It's just a, it depends on the person and time. And no matter if you make mistakes, you know, keep trying. I'm sure that you will be able to speak English. See you next time. Bye.